This is it, what? Cohiba lit, what? We got that yak up in the cup and getting bent, what? Put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. This is it, what? That Chiba lit, what? You got some drink up in your cup and getting bent, what? So put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. You were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Top rank 140 pounder Alex Salcedo has announced his retirement at the age of 26. Now, I know y'all probably thinking, like, at 26, why did he retire? In his last fight against Arnold Barbosa Jr., that was October 17th. He suffered two brain bleeds in that fight. And because of that, he's announced his retirement. Now, we've heard of boxers having brain bleeds um, as a result of, of um, fights. The one that comes up um, in my head is uh, Zab Judah. Uh, Zab Judah, in his last fight, he had uh, a brain bleed and had to get surgery. And... I think he's actually suing in that situation. But that's the last one I could possibly think of. But for Alex Alcedo to have two different brain bleeds from the same fight, like, that's crazy. But, yes, that is enough for you to retire. Like, and I wish him nothing but the best um, in his future endeavors. Hope that he's completely healthy, 100%, and all of that. I like Alex Salcedo as a fighter. I mean, Bob Arum and Top Rank liked him as a fighter. I mean, they built him up, built him up real good. And um, he had a title fight against Maurice Hooker, and Salcedo was doing good in the fight, but Hooker uh, got Salcedo up out of there. And uh, Salcedo was on a comeback trail, and he fought Arnold Barbosa, and that was a war. That was a war, and he lost that fight. But Alex Salcedo is a, is a solid fighter. Solid fighter. The thing with Alex Salcedo is I felt like his style was a little outdated, like defensively, like he just didn't do a whole lot to help himself out. He kind of reminded me of Brandon Rios back in Brandon Rios prime. Like that's what he reminded me of, like a guy that has boxing skill, but he just chose not to use it. And defensively, he just wasn't as responsible as he should have been. But you know, at the end of the day, like, boxing is a brutal sport. Um, Salcedo ended up being 30-2 and two with 19 knockouts. So I'm hoping he was able to stack some, you know, a good amount of bread up, you know, to take care of himself, take care of his family, and make some uh, solid investments and things so he don't have to possibly look at hopping back into the ring in the future. But big shout-out to Alex Salcedo his team and you know i hope everything is well with him y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section g5 jeff tv hit the subscribe button hit the like button please share this video support your boy support good content at all times i appreciate y'all peace